Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development. In the previous video, we actually created a React Context API so that we can pass the store data to, to the components that need them. And now we're going to create a layout component and, and then we're going to wrap that layout component with the provider so that it can so it can take advantage of this cart and set cart. Okay, so let's begin. So what we're going to do is we'll go to layouts and instead of calling it layouts, we'll change this to layout. Okay. And then inside of this, we'll create a file called index.js and we'll just say const layout equals return for now, just return empty export default layout. Okay. And then we'll go to our index.js and then over here, I'm just going to get the whole thing for now. Put that over here, uh, get rid of the products. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, this will be props.children. So we'll have children available. So children here. And then what we're going to do is we'll wrap this inside of layout. Layout, paste this here. And then instead of putting that here, I'm going to put that inside of the layout. And I'm going to ensure that I pass the header footer over here, like so. Get rid of this. Okay. And then take the header footer, pull it from here because I'm passing that as a component uh, props value in the layout. So that will be available here. So I'll put that up. Just need to import the header. So I'll say import header. Oops. Okay. And similarly, import footer as well. So we've got that. And then we need to wrap this inside of the app provider so that uh, the components can access the value of the cart and set cart. So we have this app provider available, right? Which is this app provider, which is basically returning the app context dot provider itself. So if you remember from the previous episode, we learned that every context object comes with provider react component that allows consuming components to subscribe to the context changes. So if there's any context change, uh, then the components will have that changed value. Okay. So that's why we need to wrap it. So that what we're going to do now is over here, I'm going to say app provider, and then I'm going to import that at the top. So import app provider. So because this is wrapped inside of this, now I can go to any of the components. Uh, which is inside of this and, and then we can go ahead and use the use context. Let me show that to you. So we can basically use the use context to, to get the value of the cart, right? So we're going to do that later. But uh, for now, as you can see that this has been wrapped, so we'll have access to the cart value there. Okay. So basically what we want to do is we want to call this set cart function anytime we do add to cart uh, and then modify the value of cart and then it can be available to uh, different components let's say in, in this case for example the bag which is in the header okay uh so what we're going to do is we'll so we'll go to add to cart component which is here and then on top we're going to pull that set cart and cart and we'll use the use context as i just shown it to you and then we're going to pull the app context on top okay so we had already created this app context that's what we're going to use if you notice, we need to use the use context and whatever context we had created, we need to pass that so that, can, so that we can get the value of what we need. Okay. In this case, we not only just need the value, but we need the function as well. So that's why we are going to use it like so. Okay. So you got the card and the set card. Brilliant. Next thing we're going to do is we'll use two use states. Let's see, use state. And we're going to pull that from React on top. Okay, so we're going to instantiate a variable called is added to cart and then second one loading. Uh, this is required so that when we click on the add to cart button, basis on whether it's added to the cart or not, we can show the view cart button next to it. So use it's more intuitive to the user and they can ju just click on that and go to the cart page. And second one is loading so that we can show some kind of message to the user that something is happening at that point. Um, maybe a request is going to add to the cart. Okay. That's why we need these two. 
And what we also want to do is we want to gray out the, this button, this add to cart button uh, at the time when the request is being made. And we want to make it like disabled uh, because you, we don't want the user to keep pressing that add to cart button while the previous request is already in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use class names and we'll create a constant on top uh, using class name. So we're using import CX from class name and then we're passing a default value and then if it's not loading then show the standard classes for background white and on hover background gray 100 class uh, otherwise if it's loading show the darker color uh, so that it we can kind of give an impression to the user that it's disabled okay next thing we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll say disabled equals if it's loading so if the loading is true and we want to disable the button. We don't want the user to keep clicking on it and sending multiple requests at a time, which is not very healthy. Okay. Next thing we want to do is this add, add to cart uh, function, we will pass a few more things. So this, let's see what does it accept now. So it accepts quantity and product ID. We have already passed the product ID. So let's pass the quantity. And then we're also going to pass these two functions, which is set is added to cart and then also the loading set loading and this add to cart text we can change that uh, by saying if it's loading then change the text to adding otherwise it'll be add to cart okay so that user gets to know now let's go inside of this add to cart function so first of all it's going to accept two additional parameters which we hadn't added earlier now we're going to do that okay set is added to cart and set loading and add that as params here this is a function set is added to cart and this is a function as well and that's set loading okay now so initially before the request is made i want to set the loading to true and once the request is complete like over here i want to set the loading to false and even if there are any errors i want to set the loading to false okay because by the time the request is already complete so that's one Secondly, if it is added to the card, which means it's going to go inside of this promise, which is 10, uh, we want to call this function set is added to card and set that value to true because that means that the card item has been added. That means that product has been added to the card. So you want to show that message. Uh, so that's why we want to set that value to true. And initially, remember that we had set it to false, right? Now, what we also want to do is we want to pass this set card function also because set card will be responsible for changing the value of the card. So let me do that. So I'm going to put that here and then put that here. And let's put another parameter. Set card. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the set card inside of the view card. And this view cart is going to get the new cart value because remember that when you do add to cart, you're only going to get uh, the response as whatever has been added to the card. You're not going to get the entire cart value. You're going to get the entire cart value when you do the view cart, when you make a view cart API request. So this is where we're going to set the value of the cart. Okay. Brilliant. I think we are going good. And in the next video, we will continue further. And we are going to use the app context API to set the value of the cart in the next video. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is CodyTech. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran Ed Sayed. And please star my repository to support my work. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.